What's up, what's up everybody? Are you ready for a drama video? Because this video is juicy and scandalous. So this morning I get, I wake up, I get a text from my friend Sam. Sam's like, my account got banned for six days because Comptua said that my username was in breach of terms of service. His username, it's actually right below, as you can see, it says user has been restricted or deleted. It's not a permanent uh, perma ban. It is for six days. His name is right under the thing. It says Lumas. Lumas is Samuel spelled backwards. It doesn't actually mean anything nasty or negative or anything. There's no secret meaning of it. It's just his name, Samuel spelled backwards. Well, Bagel, uh, maybe it's a misunderstanding. These things happen all the time, right? It's a misunderstanding. My friend's account got banned. It, uh, maybe, you know, contacts come to us and he's like, oh, maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe someone accidentally thought it meant something, right? Okay, we give him, maybe we give him that, right? This is, by the way, this is, uh, let's take a look. Let me show you guys. This game restrictions, I blocked that. He's sent me the picture without it blocked out. I blocked out the name because I don't want people knowing his hive ID. Uh, breach of naming policy, six day ban. Uh, here we go. Here, this is in the come to us. It, it's in something from come to us is uh, inappropriate names that breach naming policy. So this is why he got specifically banned. Again, his name is Samuel spelled backwards. So maybe there's a mistake, right, Bagel? Why are you making a big deal out of this? Maybe there's a mistake. So anytime we click on his profile, try to go to the profile, can't see anything. Maybe, oh, maybe there's just some, some random dude, right? Some, some random dude, not anyone, uh, not anyone important. Like the guild leader of Malicious, <laughs> Who's going into guild battle, like, now? So the day when, the, or sorry, Siege, Siege Legend Tournament, I'm sorry, not guild battle, not random guild battle, Siege Legend Tournament, today, he got banned, the leader of the legend contender, Guild Siege, got, that's like saying Michael Jordan got like, you know, uh, hit by a car right before the NBA Finals, but like, or not hit by a car, uh, I don't, whatever, you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean? It's like, the like, obviously they're very crippled now. If their guild leader is not able to participate in the Legend Guild Tournament. So, my question is, um, I keep forgetting he's the guild leader too. But my question is, like, this was not an accident. This was not, like, be, anyone that thinks, like, oh, maybe it's just a misunderstanding, like, it, it may have been, like, a, oh, or trolling or something if it wasn't the leader of the potentially legend guild for Guild Siege right before the tournament. Right before the tournament. There's no way that I think this is a coincidence or trolling. This was done. This must have been done on purpose. Uh, not by comp to us on purpose. What I feel, this is one of several different things. What I feel is he, someone had it out for malicious or him specifically as the leader of malicious. Maybe it could be one of a few things, right? Maybe it's someone that didn't get into malicious and is like, you know, I'm pissed off. I never got into malicious. Uh, I, wa I was trying to get into that guild or got kicked from the guild like for... Uh, doing something, I don't know, maybe hitting the wrong towers or like not participating or something like that. And they were like, I got a vengeance. And maybe they reported him a crap ton of times to come to us uh, customer support for having an offensive username and customer support. A lot of that stuff is automated. They don't actually take a look at most of these things. They take action first. If there's enough requests for something to be done, like enough requests for um, inappropriate profile picture or um, offensive name or whatever breach of terms of service, they will, if there's enough requests, uh, or enough people reporting it, uh, they will take action first and then actually have a human being take a look at it later. That already happened to me in the past. I had super, I had like two minute uh, Hall of Light B10 runs and it went down to uh, like 15 seconds where I was like, hey, well, I wonder if we could speed run this with Lucian, ignore defense. Um, and it was triggered a red flag in the system that it went from two minute runs to 15 second runs like instantly without like any gradual uh, decrease and they thought it was a, but no one from customer support actually took a look at it, right? Uh, a lot of you are fam familiar with the situation, but no one from customer support actually looked at it because they have a finite amount of people and they have so many games and they have so many people writing tickets for so many games that they can't physically like review every single thing all the time because thousands, 10,000, hundreds of thousands and they just don't have the physical time and manpower to do that. So again, a lot of it is automated. So if enough uh, requests come in, enough reports come in that it's, in, uh, that it's an offensive name or an offensive profile picture, they will ban first 
and ask questions later and actually review it later, unfortunately. So uh, it may be someone that was in the guild, um, it was pissed off about getting uh, pissed off about getting kicked from the guild, or maybe someone that was not able to get into the guild and it was offended. It could have also been someone that they just previously beat in, uh, like uh, someone from an opposing guild that they previously beat beforehand, and they're like, you know what, uh, malicious was jerks to us, and we're gonna we're gonna try to get their leader uh, temporarily banned. Um, or. I guess another situation which I really hate to even think about that this is even a possibility because there's so many, you know what I'm gonna say, right? I have so many friends in uh, SSA that I can't think that like they would do this. But I, if, I, if I didn't say it, I would be just blinders on, right? If I didn't say it, it's high level siege. It's very strategic, strategical, it's very uh, competitive. It's not outside of the realm of possibility for someone from SSA to get the leader of Malicious Band right before the final tournament, right before Siege Legend tournament. It seems like a stretch, and again, like I know so many people in SSA, and I'm like, they're all good people. Well, the ones I know anyway. I'm like, I find it hard to believe that they would do that, but someone, whoever it is, whether it's another guild or a former guild member or something, someone had it out for malicious, someone wanted to take down the, uh, take down the guild right before the Legend Siege Tournament. So we'll see. Currently he's still banned though. Currently he's still banned. I was kind of waiting on this because I'm like, maybe he'll get unbanned before the tournament. Maybe we need to talk about this. Do we need to bring this to light? Um, maybe they'll take quick action and they'll unban him uh, so that he can participate in the Siege. Uh, the Legend Siege, because it is Legend Siege Tournament. Like, that kind of makes a mockery of Le Legend Siege Tournament if the leader of one of the guilds gets randomly banned for no reason, right? It's not, a, it's not an actual valid reason that he got banned. Um, so it kind of makes a mockery out of it if he gets banned right before Siege, and then it's like, well, is this really a competition if, like, they cut off the head of the opponent's guild and then, like, well, that kind of implies that SSA did it necessarily. I'm not saying that they actually did it. But if the head of the guild is cut off and then they're like, oh, this is gonna be uh this is gonna be a definitely easier match if we're not fighting the entire guild, if they have uh and I'm sure the, the, the vice guild leaders are perfectly capable of leading the guild, especially in malicious, right? Um but it's just it's it's insane. I there's no way this was done as a troll, there's no way this is done by accident or has nothing to do with this actual name. This was done maliciously, this was done maliciously, pun intended, on purpose by someone. Who knows who it is? I don't know who it is. Uh, you know, a lot of people could have a lot of ideas as to who specifically it is, because there could be, a, you know, malicious has a long list of enemies, namely other uh, very high-ranking guilds, right? So there could have been any number of them. But anyway, I just wanted to bring it to everyone's attention. What's going on? I know so you guys love the juicy drama videos. What is your take at? What do you think uh, is actually going on? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you as always. And we'll see how this plays out, right? I'll see you as always in the next one.